Okay, this is Lonnie. I'm going to show you how to make a shape using GIMP. On the right hand side here, uh, you can go over here and you're going to add a layer, a new layer. I just do them transparency. Click OK. So there's your layer. And I'm going to go over here and use the path tool. I'm going to click that. And I'm just going to click about where I want to start. So I'm going to click there and go past where I want. Click there. Click there. I click there. Another click. I'm just left clicking. And I'm going to click about right here. Now when you want to close it, you're going to go to back where you started. You're going to hold control down. Then you're going to click. That makes it a full circle. Now this here I want to drag up. So I just go over here and I want to drag. So once I get it moving then I'll use these two ends here to pull it. Because you can manipulate it quite a bit that way. So I'm going to pull that to the shape that I'm looking for. And make sure you have it on here. If you're up too far you know, it can look weird. Which you might have to drag the other part then. Um, so just find the shape you're looking for if you have to you can still move this around and then go back and fine tune how you want it and here I'm going to bring this down just so it's got a little little curve to it not a big one but just a little curve and once I'm uh, done and I know I got it lined up the way I want this here, I want to tighten this up a little bit. Once you have that where you want, uh, well, you can move these in if you want. Depends on where it's at. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left hand side here. Uh, selections from path. I'm going to click that, and you see that it's highlighted in there. And I'm going to fill this. So I'm just going to hit my fill bucket and select the color you want and just fill that in and you can go up and hit uh, select and then hit select none and right there is your layer uh, you can turn it on and off you can uh, click it move it around if you want to fine tune anything you can uh, duplicate it and flip it to use on the other side um, so actually that, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to go down to layer, transform, and flip vertically. And what it did is it flipped it up here. So now I just need to bring it down to where I want. And right there you have both sides. I'm doing it at 200% and you can bring it back down. And there's both sides with the same thing. So that'll be it.